Where are we going this week? Let's head back to Japan. Hello again, I'm Nathan. Welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. It wasn't my fault. Has been a little bit of time. I've been sorting out my computer for editing and uploading and everything else, and slightly changing my camera setup. So hopefully it looks a little bit nicer. We can but hope it's still me, so it's not going to look that great. But hey, hopefully it's better than it was before. So anyway, this time back to Japanese whiskey. This is Tenjaku. I'm obviously pronouncing it incorrectly. Beverage Tasting Institute Gold 2020. Nice. So where is this? Is Minami Alps Wine and Beverage Co. Limited. Okay. Unusual. I've not tried it. I don't know a lot about it. Picked up in Costco a while ago. I'm a little bit behind on whiskies, so you can tell by the sheer amount I've got back there. And I haven't done a video for a little bit. It's just been work and all sorts of stuff, changing jobs and just busy, busy, busy. Uh, and completely failed to open up the box. Ooh. Nice, nice, nice. Box away. That by there so you can see it. Hey, okay. Nice kind of handmade paper, if you can how well you can see that. But it's got a nice kind of texture to it, which is quite good. Not bad at all. Don't like that. The back's just normal paper, but the front's really nice. Cool. I won't read the back, so it's 40% as most whiskies tend to be. I must admit in the UK they all tend to be 40%. Which is fine, it's kind of standard. Oh, it's a screw cap. Nothing wrong with screw caps, I realise that, but I kind of like the sound of a nice cork. Slightly disappointing, but that feels really weird because it almost makes the glass feel sticky because of the texture of the paper. Strange, strange. Look, 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 look. It's very, very light coloured whiskey. I will say that for it. I'm not quite used to that. There's no age statement on it as you would expect. An elaborate and delicate blend of the finest select whiskey. So it is a blend. Nothing wrong with a blend. It just means that they're picking the best of a few different barrels and mix them in a certain way to get the same taste every time. So it's not that it's a bad thing that it's a blend at all. I there are some absolutely amazing blends because, of course, they have to spend a little bit more time on them. Yeah. The glass not 100% clean. It just was clean though, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so what we got on the nose? Hmm. Pears. Definitely pears. Hmm. It's kind of sweet. A little bit of alcohol smell to it, not a huge amount. It's a lot of pear though, very fruity. Reminds me of another whiskey. Oh. See, I'm too out of, out of touch with whiskies. I've not done a video for a while, but it definitely reminds me of another whiskey. But what one? Maybe it's the other Japanese one. Oh. Or maybe like Hay Club, something, something like maybe more Hay Club. It's kind of got that slight metallic edge to it. It's not unpleasant. It pairs the slightly metallic. Hmm, okay. So what's the taste? Still slightly fruity, slight alcohol flavour. There's that little bit of metallic kind of flavour to it as well. Hmm. Interesting. I'd almost say a banana-y kind of fruitiness to it. Hmm. I guess a little bit of smokiness, not a huge amount, just a little bit of smoke that you get with scotch. Rather, not something like a peated smoke, just kind of a light wispy smoke to it. It's really kind of banana-y. And, and the back end is just kind of like woody and oaky kind of flavour to it. It kind of lingers a little bit, a little bit of a bite to it. So slightly spicy, but more of the kind of wood spice rather than kind of the cayenne peppers or any of that kind of traditional spice sort of thing. 
Hmm. It's pleasant. It's quite light. So I don't imagine this holding up well to coke or cocktails or anything else. It's definitely a sipping whiskey. So I think, yeah, it reminds me kind of like Monkey Shoulder, Costa of Hay Club, something like that, because you get kind of like the banana. What was that banana? Was it Monkey Shoulder or banana? I'm just thinking that because of monkeys. I can't remember this. Other ones that had a little bit of banana, and it tastes like that. What was it? Like banana. I can't remember. I can't remember at all. It must have been Was it Monkey Shoulder? I don't know. I don't know what it was at a banana. Copper dog. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've tasted a lot of those whiskies. I tend to go to new ones all the time. But there's definitely that kind of banana. Banana bread, maybe more than just banana. It's like kind of breadiness to it. Mm, nice though. It's definitely pleasant. I said it's quite light in flavour. As you imagine, it's fairly light in colour. You can see the colour of it, if you can see that. Well, it's a very, very light amber. Okay. Try with a little bit of water, see how that makes a difference. Yeah, it's definitely, I'm sure it's Hay Club it smells like. Slightly more pear. It's that kind of blend, definitely similar. Stripped away a little bit, there's more banana. It's stripped away some of the other flavours. It's definitely more banana when you add a bit of water. Hmm. Interesting, right. As always, Master Malt, what do they say? So, taste your notes by the champs of Masters of Malt. Okay. There was a faint suggestion of smoke with pear blossom and plump sultana. I didn't get sultana, but I think I get a bit of pear and a little bit of smoke. Oh, pal palate. Can't even talk today. So out of practice, right. Tin pears on the palate with banana bread and thick custard. I'm not sure it has that much vanilla to say custard. Okay, finish. Creamy oak spice and a floral elderflower finish. And last in. Hmm. I got a lot of that. Okay. Oh, it's a bit bit of an afterburn to it. Alcohol burn. But I think that's just from having the water with it has changed the properties of it a little bit. Interesting. Okay, let's do what we always do and get some coffee and coke and a cocktail. Let's Coca Cola, well actually Pepsi, but you know what I mean. And see how it holds up against that. And I said Whiskies like this that are fairly light in flavour possibly won't hold up, but I've been surprised before. So let's go and have a look, see what we find. So here we are again with ice, Pepsi Max, black coffee, and an old fashioned. As always, the boring bit where I've got to pour all the drinks. So much whiskey. But it's for science, so you know. No complaints for me. I do enjoy the whiskey, so you know I wouldn't do this otherwise, would I? So, what the hey? One in there, and of course, an old-fashioned has two. As I've said before, in case you've not been here before, I'm using a 25 mil measure, which is standard in the UK for a single shot of spirit. I don't know if you can see, it does say on there that it is 25 mil, which it is, and I use that every time, so I do exactly the same amount of alcohol every time I review a whiskey to make it fit. Right, bit of a stir, give it every chance to combine, and the coffee as well, and the coffee's made the same every time, well I used to do a little bit different, I used to do a drip filter, but I recently got myself a nice bean to cup coffee machine. So it grinds the beans, so it is an Americano, so it's slightly stronger than some coffees, I guess. But it means the machine's doing all the work, so I'm not doing it differently every time. So I'm having exactly the same coffee pretty much every time. As close as I can get to doing it precise in a scientific way, really. But it's whiskey, so does it matter that much? Mm, debatable, I guess. Okay, so let's try this. The ice cube didn't get quite as large as it often does, but I'm sure it's fine. Not much on the nose. As always, when I add a bit of ice, it waters it down and lowers the temperature so I don't get as much nose. That's fine. Yeah, again, it, it brings out the alcohol more. A bit of a burn on the back end. 
not really as much of the flavours. There's still like the, the woodiness at the end and a little bit of the kind of spice from the wood. But it's lost kind of all, all the pier and all that kind of stuff in the front end. So it's a little bit disappointing. It's, I don't really enjoy whiskey with ice, generally speaking, so it's not how I do it. It's not bad. Possibly made more to be a mixer. Just like Hay Club, really. That's, I said, it's kind of similar smelling, so Hay Club is really designed to be a kind of mixing whiskey, isn't it? It tends to be for cocktails and with Coke and that sort of thing. So it's kind of like that, definitely. It's quite subtle what it does to the Coke. It does bring out a little bit more sweetness, I guess. A little bit kind of fruity sweetness. Like if you've put in like fructose syrup, something like that. So it's kind of got the kind of fruitiness to it. It's okay. Possibly more sweet than I'd usually like. So it's Pepsi Max, so some people say it tastes sweeter than normal Pepsi because of the the fake sugar in it, but I don't know. Mm, definitely makes it a little bit sweeter and slightly fruity. It's not bad though. It's not bad. All right. I'm not expecting a lot, but let's see what it does. Mm. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why it does that. Generally, whenever I put whiskey in black coffee, it gives it a kind of woody sort of flavour. Yeah, I don't understand where the, where does the wood come from. I know there's like the mm, the oakiness and that sort of thing of the whiskey, but that just seems to be the only thing it brings to it. I don't get it. I don't get why it's always got a kind of woody flavour whenever I put it in coffee. It's quite pleasant, don't get me wrong. It's just, it always surprises me. It's okay though. Okay, old fashioned. Hmm. As expected, the flavours are kind of subtle and the bitters kind of strips away most of the whiskey. There's a slight hint of the kind of pear sweetness in it, a little bit, not a huge amount. Hmm. It's okay. It's not the worst old fashioned I've had. It's definitely not the best though. Yeah, there's just a slight pear kind of aftertaste to it, I guess. To get the kind of bitter and the, bitter from the bitters, obviously, and the sweetness from the syrup. And then the whiskey kind of kicks in a little bit of the alcohol flavour and a little bit of the pear. Slight little, slight kind of aftertaste and hint of the kind of the woodiness, the spice from the end. That, that's really about it. It's not a huge amount. It's nice enough to drink. I'm not sure I'd use it for that purpose, this whiskey. I much prefer it neat if you like that kind of slightly metallic that you get with, like, as I said, Hay Club. Then it's, it's not bad for drinking. Okay, back to the coffee. There's always a way of going from the sweet to the bitterness of the coffee. But as well, I like going back to it because it, it'll bring out something different from it. But once again, it's just the woodiness. It does just bring out woody flavour. There's not a lot of alcohol flavour. It's lost any of the kind of spice and the, the, the kind of sweet pear and that sort of thing. That's, that's all gone. It's just, just a weird woody flavour. So, like I said, it's not unpleasant. It's weird, but it's quite nice. And yeah, it brings out a little bit of pear sweetness. It's kind of strange that you put whiskey in Pepsi or Coke and you get more fruit flavour out. It's a really strange thing. But I can't complain, it's quite nice. Google, Google, Google. Mm. Disappointing. There's not a lot in that. There's a little bit of pear flavour. Quite a bitter back end now. No, not great. Not great at all. Okay. One last time back to the pretty much neat. I know there's a little drop of water, but that's probably been incorporated now, so it's back to normal. Let's try. Yeah, it's very subtle, but it's quite nice. Yeah, 
It just makes me think of Hate Club. I'm sure that's what the smell is. Mm. Interesting. But overall, not bad blended whiskey. I said quite subtle, so it's one of those things you just want to kind of sip and enjoy. Might prefer it. Some people might as a, a mixer because it does have that kind of metallic flavour and it's the smell more than anything that, that does make me think of the kind of standard things like Hay Club and saying that that kind of blended whiskey has that kind of feel to it to be honest. If you don't like Hay Club, probably won't like this. I don't mind Hay Club, it's, it's one of those things I quite happily drink. I quite happily drink anything on the shelf apart from that god awful peanut butter one. I give that away, that was awful. But other than that, I, I like most whiskies for different reasons so I'm happy with it, it's quite nice, it's not going to stand out, it's not something I'd go out of my way to find again, but I've got it, fair enough. Anyway, that's me going on for far too long now, as usual, hopefully you enjoyed the video and you found it interesting, if you did, please put a like, it does help the channel, because obviously I've already got a small channel, so all the likes will be absolutely appreciated, and subscribe and get some other people to come here, that would be fantastic, so thanks a lot. See you next time.